Hey everybody, it's Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys? I am bringing you this fantastic uh, bundle of products this week called Playing in the Rain. It's part of an entire suite of products in our mini catalog. Um, such a cute suite. The paper, which is a specialty designer series paper, has kind of some iridescence going on there. Absolutely adorable. Um, it's called the Rain or Shine Suite, and the suite encompasses the bundle, which we're going to be using, the um, embossing folder there, which has the raindrops, the cute little embellishments, they're called Loose Daisy Embellishments, and then, of course, the Specialty DSP, which is what I've been talking about. You are going to see the Specialty DSP in action here, so get ready to see everything come together. Let's go ahead and make our card. This is our card we're making today, and I've paired that bunch of products, the stamp set and dies, which encompasses the bundle, the embossing folder, which is the raindrop, and then, of course, you guys know I love my stylish shapes, so we're using those for the circle here in the front. But I've also chosen to use the limited edition stamp set. Now, I don't know if you guys know what this is, but it's a stamp set in the annual catalog that you can purchase to stamp on the back of your cards if you are wanting to sell your cards. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thought I had my phone silence, but I guess I didn't apologize. So um, the limited edition stamp set is something that you can buy. All of the stamps have the copyright stampin' up, which is what you need for our angel policy. So if you choose to sell the cards that you make, on the back of your cards, you have to show that the images are copyrighted through Stampin' Up. So this is a fantastic little set. And I love this stamp that says a paper hug from me. So I've used that one. And then I use this from the heart section for the inside. And we're going to use this limited edition set. So if you haven't checked it out, it's in the annual catalog. Um, check that out in there. Or you can just go to my online store and type in limited edition and it'll pop up as well. All right, so let's get to stamping. Here's our fun card. I've used Balmy Blue for the main background, but I want you to see the iridescence in that specialty paper. You see that shine that's coming across the camera as I move and it catches the light? That is iridescence on these raindrops that's on the specialty paper here. And then I've added Wink of Stella. I don't know if you can see that, but I've added Wink of Stella to our little die cut um, turtle, who's also part of the specialty paper. I put Wink of Stella on the yellow parts of him, on the umbrella and on his little spots of his shell. But his shell, you can see, it's also shiny and iridescent, and that's because it's part of the specialty paper that was um, fussy cut out. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll make this fun card. The base of our card is eight and a half by five and a half of balmy blue, and I've scored it at four and a quarter down the center. And we are going to um, go ahead and burnish that. My husband was in here earlier and he has my bone folder. So I'm grabbing just another bone folder that I have. So there is our base. Our specialty DSP is four inches by five and a quarter, and we are going to go ahead and attach that onto the base. This is the back, isn't it pretty? So one side of your DSP is gonna have that iridescent to it. When you get specialty DSP, there's always some kind of something that makes it special. Most of the time it has some kind of foiling. This time it's an iridescence. And the opposite side, the back end, doesn't have that. So you have options if you don't want to have that foily or um, shimmery side. The backs don't have it. So it gives you a little bit of options. So let's go ahead and attach this four by five and a quarter inch piece. All right. On to the next step. I have used the embossing folder on a piece of old olive cardstock. It's four and a quarter, I'm mean, not four and a quarter, one and a quarter by five and a quarter inches long. 
and that's this piece right here that's going to get attached on here. But before we do that, we are going to use our Wink of Stella on it. We're also going to tie some of this gorgeous um, balmy blue and white ribbon. It's called our variegated ribbon. It's kind of ombre from white to balmy blue. And that's what I've used to tie around that piece of um, old olive cardstock, one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and I am going to color the raindrops. So I'm just gonna go over the top. As it dries, it will lighten and it will leave that nice shimmer that Wink of Stella likes to leave on our projects. I've also fussy cut a turtle out of the designer series paper. It's fun to color. And we are going to shimmer him up. I've also fussy cut a couple of umbrellas. We're gonna put these guys on the inside. Those are also have that nice sheen to them. And then we have some clouds for the outside, also fussy cut out of our beautiful designer series paper. So right now I'm just sitting here coloring with Wink of Stella, the raindrops. You can see the ones at the top that I started with are fading. They're not gonna stay this dark, but the shimmer is left behind. And once it fully dries, it'll be like my card here where they're raised up and just shimmery. I wanted the raindrops to have a little bit of shimmer to them, which is why I added this Wink of Stella. All right, so now that we have Wink of stella see you can see that embossing on there. Let me show you the card that's finished. So you can see there's some shimmer, but it's not wet or dark. Let's go ahead and tie the ribbon and then we can attach that layer on here. So I'm just gonna, take my, let's see how long it is. I didn't measure that. Six, about nine inches or so of ribbon, maybe just a smidge shy. I just kind of cut a piece. So what I did was I went ahead and tied a knot and then I tied another knot over the top of that knot. So when I do that, I like to kind of make it look like a cross like this. And then I put my finger, I lay that finger on that knot to help keep it from moving. And then I kind of just cross over the ribbon again. This ribbon kind of feels almost like a seam binding weight of ribbon. So I'm not gonna pull that knot too tight. I kind of like it a little bit puffed up. So we'll leave that like it is. Look, I think it turned out really pretty. You have the blue on the bottom this time. I had the blue on the top that time. So we'll go ahead and add our wet adhesive. And then once it's down and secured to our card, I'll go ahead and trim the ends of my ribbon. So I'm just adding my wet adhesive. I'm even gonna put some on the ribbon all the way down my card. And this little scrap again is one and a quarter by five and a quarter. So we're gonna go ahead and lay it down here. I'm gonna leave about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of an inch on the left side of that designer series paper so that you could see that really nice and pretty. All right, so there is our card stock. Just press down, just grab this, these ribbon scissors and trim my ribbon. There we go. I'm gonna trim that one just a little bit more. I think it's a little bit too long, just a little bit more. There we go. All right, I'm happy with that. Looks nice. All right, let's grab our stylish shaped circle. Let's see what size I used. The third one from the middle and it's also cut out of balmy blue cardstock. We're gonna use balmy blue ink. 
I'm sure I've moved my uh, mat around on you guys. I'm really good at that, aren't I? <laughs> Hopefully I'm in camera, but I like to move this little mat around when I am uh, stamping. All right, so let's get our a paper hug from you. And we'll ink that in our balmy blue. And I keep baby wipes in the drawer next to me. Whenever I use red rubber, I always tend to be really bad about um, getting it on the edges. So just to make sure that it doesn't actually get onto my stylus shape circle, I'm just kind of wiping it from those edges with this baby wipe, but I'm not touching what I stamped. And then we're gonna add that to our little piece right here, paper hug from me. All right, let's clean that. Those baby wipes are loud, aren't they? <laughs> clean that stamp. All right, and then we're going to do this handcrafted. So I'm gonna grab a piece of tape, just scotch tape. That will cover this section here that says handcrafted. And then I'm gonna use, I cut it way too long, didn't I? Let's grab my scissor here and trim that down. We don't need so much. I'll grab this other piece and I'll cover that Stampin' Up logo. We don't need that either, right? So I'll kind of put it on an angle and that way it will stick to that. When I pull it off, I can pull it off at one time. That's gonna be the inside. So I'm just gonna leave that for right now. Let's add a little bit of fun to our card, which is our mini dimensionals and dimensionals. So I'm gonna use those on the back of my turtle and my clouds. So let's put two of these guys on here. I like how the minis kind of tuck and fit nicely on the clouds in those little areas where you couldn't get a regular dimensional to fit, but I am going to put a regular one there and I'm going to use the big ones on the turtle wall. I have room there. All right, so let's put some on his umbrella. Work our way down. And let's go back to the minis. Let's put one here and then maybe one or two here. That's good. All right, our circle's gonna get just wet glue. So let's flip that over. A paper hug from me. Let's put that about right here. And let's grab our take your pick tool. We're gonna pick off the backs of our dimensionals for our turtle. I love this take your pick tool. All right, and let's add our little guy right about right there. A little bit onto our embossed rain stripe there. Looking good so far. Okay, let's add our clouds. Let's put this guy above here, kind of above his little umbrella. And let's add the small one. Over here. Kind of that's good. Then we have a larger and a smaller one left. Let's go ahead and pull all the backs off. And then I can flip them up and look at them. All right, let's see. The bigger of the two, I'll kind of put this bigger one maybe right here. 
I'm going to add the smaller one. Maybe right there. Okay. Now for the inside, we're going to put these umbrellas in the corner. Look how cute this card has turned out. Make sure that I get the handle of my umbrella. You can see the back of the umbrella paper is this really cute little um, mango melody. I'll show you the inside of this one. So I have the two umbrellas, one in this direction, and one facing down. And then I added the sentiment that says, from the heart with that little heart on it. I'm gonna ink that up into my balmy blue ink. And remember, we have that scotch tape on there. So let's use my baby wipe. I still have it on my desk from the last time. There's something about Red Rod where I'm just, I think I'm just, I push too hard a little bit, but I don't like to have make a mistake. So let's pull this off. And that way the only parts inked are the parts that we want to be inked. my piece in the trash, my piece of scotch tape. Bring that down here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to stamp from the heart as best I can, kind of sort of near the middle of my card. So it says, a paper hug from me from the heart. There we go. So cute. Let's clean our stamp. This little limited edition stamp is a cute stamp. You might have missed it in the catalog or didn't know what it was for, but it is made to go on the back of your card, handcrafted from the heart, just like that, right? Or let's grab one of the other ones. Or made with love, right there. One of a kind creation, limited edition, hand stamped. This one says just for you. Really cute set. All right, guys. There's our cute card. I think it turned out rather well. Pleased with that. I hope that you will come and see what I have for you tomorrow. Um, this week, I will have something every day on my blog and four videos for you. Tuesdays will be live. So I hope that you'll come and join us 8 p.m. Eastern time for my live video. Don't forget, we use the Playing in the Rain bundle, which is this gorgeous bundle here with the dies. Tomorrow, I will go into detail with the dies and how they work, what all the extra things are about them. And um, I hope to see you here then. Thanks for being here. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping. Don't forget, guys, hit me that thumbs up, share my video, and leave me a comment.